Hi, it's Baz. I got a ukulele with another beginner's tips uh, video. Uh, this one is about adding some more frills to your playing uh, with a really, really simple technique called hammering on um, or pulling off for that matter. And that is a technique where you are um, removing the finger of a chord uh, or a pluck note or adding an extra note in intermittently to the song. So if we take a G chord. So you know the G chord, I'm assuming. Um, so first string, second fret, second string, third fret, third string, second fret. That upside down triangle shape here. And it sounds like this. When strummed, up, down, up, down. Now, let's start with the third string, which is where my first finger is. Uh, here. Now what I'm going to do on the third string, second fret, is I'm going to lift my finger and reapply it as I'm playing that G and we get this sound. So we've immediately added some variety to the pattern. Let's try it with the middle finger which is on the second string and doing exactly the same thing. Subtle, but uh, same thing. And on the first string, and mix them up. So immediately we've now got a whole um, change in the feel, really. What else can we do? We can add some notes in as well. There's no real hard, fast and rules here. Some notes will work better than others if you're good at your music theory. But let's take this G shape. And if we, uh, the little finger here is doing nothing, uh, but we've got a space there. So if I hammer that finger in to the first string, third fret, remember you're just still holding at the second fret like that. But if I hammer it into the third fret, we get this. So a mixture of that and the hammering off. Or we could stretch down here if you can reach. And this can be done with all the chords. So if we take uh, an F chord, so second string, first fret, uh, fourth string, second fret, and all the others are open. That's what it sounds like. Hammer on and off on that fourth string. Adding in the third fret on the first string. So experiment with all of your chords. Just, just pick a chord. Uh, D minor, and try bringing those individual notes on and off during your strum, adding in higher notes on the first and second strings to complement, uh, and you'll find that you you can take a chord sequence, the simplest chord sequence, um, and add a lot more variety to it, basically. Uh, it's a great technique to learn, it's very easy to do, and it'll transform your playing from standard two, three chord stuff into something quite different. Have fun with it.